We're back with 4th of July cocktails. Yes, we cleaned up the food, the hot dogs are gone, the the fixings are gone, and now we have a little bit of a little a little different um take, setup. setup now. So this is hypnotique liqueur, it's really cool. It's like a uh, very light green type of uh, drink and, and it's great. And tell them what it is. What it's yeah, it's of. actually made up of, um, let me see, a refreshing blend of premium French vodka, infused natural fruits, flowers, and a touch of cognac. It's a product of France. And this is Hypnotique, which, uh, but which one? Because the other one is also Hypnotique. This is Harmony. Harmony. Okay. Harmony liqueur. Liqueur, okay. And then we also... Which is yours? No, I'm going to have a little bit of the Sutter. Well, of the Sutter what is home. it that you're having? Uh, we also have Grand Marnier li liqueur, which is cognac and orange liqueur. It's also French. But uh, this we use to make, um, when we make the Cosmopolitans. Yes, that's make true. Cosmopolitans, that's a key ingredient. This. It's a key ingredient with for the, the Cosmopolitans. With the vodka. So this, but. No. Ooh, that's yes. nice. And we're also going to, we also have here a bottle of the Sutter Home Moscato, which is a sweet wine. Personally, I like sweet wine, so I'm gonna have a little bit of that. So I'm just gonna read this, this is kind of fun. And this is just for the 4th of July. These Some are- fun facts, right? Fun yeah, facts these are like very, uh, 10, 10 things you didn't know about 4th of July. Uh, the Declaration of Independence wasn't signed on July 4th or in July at all. No. Nope. Uh, no such thing with all the delegates present ever occurred at Philadelphia. That's that famous painting with the signer, you know, signing of the independence. Oh, so that was wishful thinking. Yeah. So it was a glorified uh, right. view of what the day would have been like. The first celebrations, number two is the first celebrations were much different than today's. The evening was closed with the ringing of bells, and at night there was a grand exhibition of fireworks, which began and concluded with 13 rockets on the commons, because of 13 colonies, mm -hmm. and the city was beautifully illuminated. Everything was conducted with the greatest order and decorum, and the face of joy and gladness was universal. That's one of the writers of the era writing that in the local That's newspaper. Wonderful. And we still use the fireworks. So they're still absolutely still number three see. eating salmon on the 4th of July is a tradition in New England Salmon on the 4th. Yes, number okay. four Massachusetts was the first state to recognize the holiday It says they recognize the 4th as, as an official holiday on July the 3rd 1781 Remember they signed it in 1776 making it the first state to do so the oldest annual 4th of July celebration is held in Bristol, Rhode Island. 85 years before the 4th of July was even recognized as a federal holiday, one tradition began that continues to today. Billed as America's oldest 4th of July celebration, the town of Bristol, Rhode Island, has been doing Independence Day right since 1785. Wow. Number six, the shortest 4th of July parade in Aptos, California. From the oldest to the shortest, the 4th of July in Aptos, California, is just a hair over half a mile long, taking up to city blocks and measuring just 0.6 miles. Wow. This brief bit of patriotism features antique cars, decorated trucks, and plenty of walkers. Number seven. Which goes to show that you don't have to go miles and miles and miles no, to have items. No, it's in your backyard. It's in your backyard, Dorothy. That is, that is true, yes. No place like home. No place like home. Click your heels. There are around 15,000 Independence Day fireworks celebration every year. According to the American Pyrotechnics Association, around 15,000 fireworks display will take place for the 4th of July holiday. Though pricing varies, most small towns spend anywhere between 8,000 to 15,000 for a fireworks display. Wow. Which larger cities going into the millions, like the Boston Pops Fireworks Spectacular, that averages more than two million. Ooh. Eight will eat an obscene amount of hot dogs, around 150 million to be more specific. That's how many hot dogs will be consumed by Americans on the 4th of July. We ate our share today. We ate four of them, plus we have some left. Correct. 
Patuloy. Number nine, and we'll spend billions on food. Americans will spend big on food and drinks this four. Big to the tune of around 6.7 billion when all is said and done, according to the National Retail Federation. Then comes the booze. According to the Beer Institute, more beer is sold on, on or around the 4th of July holiday than during any other time throughout the year. Really? Generally, Americans spend around $1 billion on beer for their fourth celebration, so more than $560 million on wine. Let's go out for beer tomorrow. Absolutely. Ten, three presidents have died and one was born on the 4th of July. You probably know that both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on July the 4th, 50 years to the day after the Declaration of Independence was adopted. They're not the only presidents to have died on the 4th. Jay Monroe, the nation's fifth president, died just a few years later on July the 4th, 1831. Uh, the country's 30th Commander-in-Chief, Calvin Coolidge, Coolidge, was born on July 4th, 1872. So those are just some fun facts on July the 4th. Okay. Oh, these are the ones I was also looking at earlier today. You see, this is the list. This list is great. Only John Hancock actually signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th. 1776. Everyone else signed later. The Declaration of Independence was signed by 56 men from the 13 colonies. The average age of the signer of the Declaration was age 45. Benjamin Franklin being the oldest at 70 and Thomas Jefferson the youngest at age 33. One out of eight signers of the Declaration of Independence were educated in Harvard. One out of eight? One out of eight. The only two signers of the Declaration of Independence who later served as president were John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. Mm -hmm. The stars on the original American flag were in the circle, and there were 13 stars for 13 colonies. That was the first flag. The first Independence Day celebration took, took place in Philadelphia on July 8, 1776, with the ringing of the Liberty Bell summoning the people. The White House had held its first 4th of July party in 1801. President John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe all died on the 4th, as I said previously. Benjamin Franklin, by the way, proposed a turkey as a national bird, but was overruled by John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, who recommended the bald eagle. Yes. <laughs> Let's drink to that. In 1776, there were 2.5 million people living in the new nation. Today, the population of the U.S. is 316 million. I think that deserves a drink. We'll drink to that. The most common patriotic sounding word used within places named in Union is 136. Pennsylvania has 33. Other words commonly used in place names are Washington, Franklin, Jackson, and Lincoln. So it's basically the names, names, names. of all last names of presidents, right? In 2012, vast majority of imported U.S. flags were made in China. Barbecue is also big on Independence Day. Approximately 150 million hot dogs and 700 million pounds of chicken are consumed on that day. Oof. Wow. Every 4th of July, the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia is tapped, not actually rung, 13 times in honor of the original 13 colonies. Remember that the Liberty Bell is the one that has the crack on one side of it. So one of the things that I had wanted to talk about is for people that are coming to the city as tourists, can you talk a little bit about, because you kind of worked in that area, about um, the place where you get tickets for free not for free, not I'm for sorry, free at a discount. but really discounted. Yeah, we're talking free, like no such 75, 80 percent. No, we're talking uh, that would be about bugging 50, someone. Ab yeah, ab yeah, about 50 to 7, anywhere between 50 to 75 percent, you can get the tickets. Okay, and um, so where would you get that? Can you disclose that? Yes. Can you whisper it? Yes, I can. That's in the um, in uh, in the t the booth is actually in. Um, Is it a 44th or 46th? No, 46th and 7th. Okay. 40, between 46th and 47th, and it's right on 7th Avenue. Wow. 
It's in uh, where they dropped the ball. Times Square. In Times Square. So it's right in Times Square. It's in a street that actually looks like a triangle. So it's on the wider side of the triangle. And it's, and it's called the, uh, the area where, where the tickets are sold. It's TKTS. So it's tickets. And you just have to stand on line. You'll see the, 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 the crowds of people just standing there. Wednesdays is the matinee, so Wednesdays people go and they can see a show between forty to fifty dollars, a seat that's like a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars. So Wednesday is a big Broadway day, but uh, for tourists who you come in and you can go any day of the week, then you if you go to this window you can see a show that same day for a very low price and you have a very good seat. So and, for that explanation. And in that area, that particular area, yes, I know we're gonna drink to that, but in that particular area, you know? a lot of the Broadway, sh a lot of the Broadway shows are within that area. They're within the 42nd to 49th to 50th, 51st Street. So it's all between between Broadway, 8th Avenue, 7th Avenue. So all the, all the, um, the theaters are in that area. So you can just, if you want to see even two shows in one day, you can, if you can get I think tickets. that deserves a sip. Yes, for sure. There we go. Sip. That was a very long explanation that deserves two sips. I'll take another one. Yes, let me take a little more Moscato. Okay. I love Phantom of the Opera. That was incredible. Oh my God, that has been that is has been on Broadway for ever. Anywhere between thirty to thirty-five years. It's the longest, longest for sure running show right now on Broadway. And Lloyd Webber, of course, that's one of his uh, one of his musicals. He's such a genius. He has Cats, Sunset Boulevard. And, and on and on and on. And on and on and on. He's, um, he, he dominates just, musical theater, He basically. goes from one to the next to the next, and it's, um, he lives in a castle. He lives in a castle in, in England. In a castle in England, so, <laughs> but he's a genius. He's, he's just, I mean, the man is, is, is a genius. By the way, now they have a new show at the Met. <coughs> Remember that we went to see the one with, um, the Catholic? The right, Fashion and the Catholic imagination. The imagination. But now they have another show. Do you remember the name of it? The one... Um, that is based upon that... The, the pink carpet, the walk on the, the pink, pink carpet. The pink carpet, camp. Camp. It's, it's camp. camp. And it's. I think it's on... They have a... Um, the exhibition, I think, runs until sometime in September, I think right. it runs. But uh, it's about camp, and camp is basically a style of... Um, of clothing, of clo of clothing, uh, and wearing of that, you know, the style of uh, wearing that clothes. It's exorbitant. Uh, it's over the edge. That clothing. Over the top. And it's crazy uh, looking. It's it's anything that's over the edge, uh, very colorful, um, and then the movements are very exaggerated. Like exaggerated, exactly. So Lady Gaga was the one who had, was the first one on the runway at the Met. Yes. And she she wore this huge voluminous red dress that it was kind of gathered was, and carried coat, by six or like, seven men. It was like a, co a coat like item. Well, they they were trying to pass it off as a dress. It. Right. Then later you find out that she actually has one dress after another after another after another. So she actually walked up and down up and down a total of sh four times and then she ended up with a lost but lady. But not only walking she, well, she did a show. She did a whole show, going up That's the steps <laughs> and and posing. That was like so cool. And voguing and so on and so forth. Uh, an extremely talented young lady. Um, she acts. She sings. She she's an an all round talented talented lady. I think we need to take a sip to Lady Gaga. Yes. That thank you to Lady Gaga. You go ahead, you have it, you have yours at home. Don't let us deprive you. Once no. we can teleport some of this, we will, and some of this too. It's very good, actually. But our teleportation is down now, right? Exactly. So we'll be going to see that, 
and hopefully wow. we'll be able to yeah to show before it goes you. off right i think because it's it was until september but i'm not sure we have to check that's we like such a short check. time they don't run it too <clears> long <throat> they don't they usually is between three to four months and then they take it away basically the the med ball has to do with raising money for the um for the fashion fashion institute, institute yeah so as you can imagine the the people who first see the exhibit is actually the contributors who went to the show at the Met that night and they paid quite hefty prices yes, per, per place setting. Yes, they do. And how much is per, per place setting? I think that the tables are made up of like eight, eight or right. ten. Right, but each place setting is around 75. I, it's in the thousands. Yeah. It's in the thousands. And some yeah. people buy, will buy like a whole table. Yeah, like Donatella bought six. And then they'll, you know, give mm. tickets to very lucky, let's say. Lucky like she people. gave it to the Jenner girls, basically. <clears throat> right. Last Riley year. And last, uh, last year was it or the yeah, year before? Yeah, well, both years. <coughs> last year and this year. Right. They've been sitting with Donatella. So it was where? Right. Versace. So, so that was kind of cool. And then. As a special encore, who, who was the who was the present? No, who was the main attraction? Well, the main the, the main attraction this year was Lady Gaga. She was Lady she Gaga, was but I'm talking about the after one. party. Oh yes, you know, the, the main Matt, yes. You know, the main attraction who was who was Cher. <laughs> Cher. Yes. Cher, Cher gave um, after Ooh. they do after they do the the show. People change the, the second time. The stairs and everything else. So the clothing that you're seeing on the red carpet is only what they wear for the red carpet. And this then they this switch year, into a it second set the of the carpet wasn't red; it was pink. It was pink, yeah. It was kind of criticized, but I thought it was fine. I thought it was. It, yeah, it, it was kind of cool. It's it was part different. of camp. It's part of camps. It was a pink carpet instead of it had to be something special, something different. Uh, yeah. But then after after that exhibition and everybody goes and everybody exhibits their outfits and they say who the who the designer is and so on and so forth. Designers also parade during this time. Then they have an after party and this year uh, Cher was the one who had who gave who a was concert. Was the main act? Right, she was the main act. She was the main act. Concert. So I think that people were really thrilled. They weren't to see expecting her, her to, to be there, number right. one. And she looked great. She looks they, 40. The pictures that they show. She is 74, looks, no, she looks 35. She has, she has truly turned back time. I think that is her. That's her anthem. That's her anthem, correct. We've seen yes. her very close up. Yes. And she looks, she looks. 35 to 40. Yes, that's it. It is incredible. Right now, I mean, right now, I think she's looking more like 45. She's looking more. When we saw her, she was a little bit younger. Don't be a hater. <laughs> no, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm just saying. I'm just so saying. you're turning into a hater because already. She is, she is 70, right? 70. But when she puts on 70. that turn back time outfit with all the oh, cutouts no, she looks one, and oh, she please. struts across the stage, we can see her right there. No, no, no. She looks, and you see her face. She looks fabulous. She, she looks, looks fabulous. 35. Plus, she doesn't dub in her concerts Never. either. She is. She, she sings. sings live. Uh, she, in in our opinion, she sings today much better than she, when she was young ever. So she is. She's truly amazing, amazing, and I think she deserves uh, a sip. A sip. To share. To share. Mm. And the 4th of July. And to the 4th of July. But everybody was going crazy at that party. And people actually dress up better at the party, I think. Yeah, they still dress up. They still dress up. You know, it's because not like before they it was camp, so... They put jeans and a right. pair of shorts. No, no, no. no. They're dressed but up. But before it was camp, so the outfits are kind of outrageous. I mean, Correct. not something that you would wear every day. But now when they go to the after party, the after party is actually nicely right. dressed. Right, it's a people. little bit, it's like, a, it's almost like a black tie type of uh, outfits that people take. So. Oh, my friend Luisa, I just remembered, she went to see um, J-Lo tonight. Oh, she, she went, had tickets yes. for J-Lo, she really? told everybody, yeah. She's, but she's, so J-Lo's in town? J-Lo's in Manhattan. Oh, because she was in Vegas not long ago. No, but she's here. Oh, okay. You Is know that these people go to Vegas and they come to New York because in New York they make tons of money. And then they, to, right, then they to, they start touring. Or Whenever whatever. they have a break in Vegas, they come here. Yeah, that's true. And then they go back to Vegas. It's incredible yes. what money will do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a sip. To J-Lo. <laughs> Today, J-Lo. It's incredible. I mean, 
And then there was this other guy from my job. He just came back from London. And him and his wife spent, I think it was like 10 days in London, he said. And they saw 12 plays within 10 days. Wow. Never mind that maybe the first day they just crashed. Right. Yeah, you because know, you know that that plane flight is. They terrible. may have it's seen horrible. two or two or three plays in one day at some point. Probably, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know the currency exchange right now. He said that it was favoring you know the dollar. So really. Yeah. Because the uh, sterling pound has always been at least two dollars to one sterling. No. I like the shuttle. Wow. There is a shuttle between well, I think um, England and France called the the channel. It's um, it's not a shuttle. It's a, it's an underground. It's an underground. It's an underground train. Um, it's a fast train that they built between England and the continent. So you can, so you can actually go from. How London. long did it take us? It was it four hours or five hours? I think it was four hours. Four hours. I think it was four hours at that time, and we actually did it. I think I think it was less than that. I think it was like three and a half. Yeah, or it something. was less than that because we <laughs> actually did round trip in the same day we yeah. didn't sleep in paris no it was london to paris and no then we, paris, went and then to, we went just to we went just to see to la louvre this time right we just went to see to see la louvre uh the louvre to eat the there louvre Muse and then Museum. we went back to london and then that we took we took a city tour uh through the streets of paris you know major major sites which you always do and then we just got on the train oh my god we do it in new york why london. wouldn't we do it there that's also true <clears throat> That's so that was kind of fun. So that was a, it was a quick trip, but it was a fun trip, and it was different because you're actually traveling. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, you're traveling underwater. This is in the ocean that you're traveling in. Right. So it, it's in the channel. So it's it's. That's kind of the idea. The idea of yeah, it. Yeah, the idea is kind of scary we when little, you think about it. We were a little it. scared to do it, uh, but we said just let's go for it and let's well, do it. Well it's been in operation for years now. Yeah for years right. It was an operation so, for years when we took it and now since And the French really know well, know, know well how to run their transportation yeah. Yeah, systems. They do. Yeah and so, the, so, do so the English is very Yeah the British there. are, yeah that's true. Everybody takes trains to go to the, uh, to the hamlets to and villages. Exactly, yeah, exactly. In England. Exactly. So but yeah I think that we have to go see camp. We are. And also, I already got tickets for DragCon. Okay, good. So I bought them already. Good, so good. we're set to go in September. Good. So those are going to be two two viewings that we will be sharing with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully you will enjoy them. I know we will. So hopefully you'll enjoy them as much. We'll try to make them as fun as possible and capture as many um, unique moments, let's say, as possible and fun moments but you know that's that's the very heart of camp mm -hmm. do you think well so, we'll try we how can, can it not try. be fun exactly exactly so as you see captain america also wishes you a happy fourth of july and he has stuck around for the whole thing which so is really great because he usually up, put up with us he usually likes to leave and he just we turn around and he's gone right so he stuck around today. And then one of our vehicles is missing. Because he knows that one of one, this is a very important uh, holiday for America. So. And that's why he decided to be here, by the right. way. Right. So he's hanging around. Very patriotic. And um, so with, I don't know if you have anything else that you want to discuss. I don't know. We talked about Broadway because I wanted you to kind of give that information. Right. That was kind of important. And I got to do that my little list, which I'm glad. Right, 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 right. Because, uh, you know, this is 4th of July after all. Right. So let's wish everyone. So we wish you a happy, happy 4th of July. Filled with, with much health. Correct. And we wish you uh, all wonderful things. Enjoy the day, whether it's sunny or rainy, it doesn't matter. It's one day of your life so enjoy it um, we'd like to also say God bless you God bless your families your loved ones and God bless America and for those of you that are alone today we're here with you as well correct we're here okay, so you're not alone. and we will be back so we're not going anywhere so we'll be back so just really enjoy your 4th of July enjoy your 4th of July Okay, from all of us. Until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind, and be good to each other. Take care. Bye. Bye, -bye. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th.